I welcome uh, my dear student and one of the best topper I can say, uh, Dr. Zain Tamboli is my uh, beloved uh, uh, student from Concept, who is doing his uh, residency at the SGPGI uh, Lucknow, uh, who scored NEED Super Speciality Rank 2 in 2019. A person who has uh, to a uh, different level is Dr. Zain Tamboli, and uh, uh, is a very young, energetic, enthusiastic and a skillful surgeon to uh, willing to learn a lot and definitely he will be a, one of the best uh, urologists uh, for india and it, he will be the one of the no 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 change he will do everything i can say that that's how uh, he is uh, uh, learning and acquiring skills uh, welcome uh, my dear student dr zain tamboli how are you my dear Good evening, sir. Thank you for your over-the-top uh, introduction, which I feel is <laughs> too much uh, for, uh, for a student. Thank you, much. Thank you so uh, much, sir. Who knows, will know good, that. Sir. I know you very well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. How are you? How things are going on in SGPGA? Uh, things are very good, sir. We are looking forward to a new transplant center, which is uh, just coming up. Uh, MCH seats are also increasing from next batch from four to six. Uh, so workload is going to increase. Uh, um, patients are waiting for transplants also huge numbers so that also will get catered to and uh, fortunately patients will not have to go to uh, anywhere else uh, other than a tertiary center like us so yes sir, we are very happy wanting to work more uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, because of covid our also hands are tied yeah definitely there definitely there are uh, difficulties because of the covid and um, we'll come directly to the point many many uh, urology listen. aspirants are uh, uh, willing to listen to us because uh, uh, the, for everyone the first question runs in their mind is sir please give me the order of at least top 10 uh, mch and a top 10 uh, dnb this is the first question by every urology aspirant uh, yes, sir. Uh, first of minutes? all, first of all, sir, big congratulations to Concept for training uh, their aspirants in such a way that uh, they are cracking the need uh, every year. Uh, so this is the third or fourth year in a row As of now. We were one of the first few batches I remember at Chennai. So coming exactly. to the point, sir, uh, when you look at uh, taking the seats, uh, look at the previous year's uh, marks, final results, look at 2020 and 2019. Don't go with uh, someone who has just taken single institute uh, like out of 20, suppose, for example, uh, I will come to the point, uh, SGPGI Lucknow, IKDRC uh, Ahmedabad, Savdarjang VMMC Delhi, these are the top three institutes which are consistently being taken up by rankers above the rank of 12. Uh, like last year, top uh, SGPGI closed off at rank 5, four seats closed off. Before that, it closed off at rank 13. Similarly, uh, IKDRC closed off at rank 6 last year and rank 7 the year before that, three seats. And VMMC closed off at around rank 12 or 13 in both years. So these are uh, institutes in which four to three residents every year are going in every uh, year they're taking, this, these colleges are getting over. Then once in a while, someone uh, is taking uh, Nair, Mumbai, but these are all... Uh, uh, once in a while rare cases because we have to take into consideration whether that person was from Mumbai, whether they knew the faculty over there. So these are minor considerations like in our batch also uh, one topper uh, in top five took uh, Kozi Kode GMC. Maybe he was from that place. Maybe he was wanting to take over there. So I will stick to the topic. SGPJ, IKDRC Ahmedabad, Safdarjang, VMMC Delhi. Then comes RML Delhi. Uh, these were, which have been taken in the uh, last uh, top 10. Then there is uh, CMC Velour, which is itself a good institute. If you are from Tamil Nadu, you do not mind the bond. Language barrier is not an issue. It is a very good institute. It is a brand. It has brand value. Uh, RML Lucknow, Nizam Hyderabad. Um, uh, then if you come to the uh, Mumbai colleges, out of Mumbai colleges, we can see the trend that Nair, uh, that is TNMC Mumbai, go, is going over GSMC that is KM, and about, then these two, then the third rank, they are taking Cyan Mumbai. Uh, these are for all MCH seats. Then, uh, then in North India, again, you have SMS Jaipur and BHU, which come after that. These are going at ranks about 36 to 40, 30 to 40. Then uh, Osmania, out of Hyderabad colleges, uh, Nizam has uh, covered 20 to rank 25, four seats have gone last time. And Osmania, uh, Hyderabad has gone to 40, 44, 45, tw rank 28. These people have taken the seats. 
so uh, these are also good colleges and uh, uh, if you come to dnb dnb consistently in the last two years also uh, the year uh, the last year ranked 60 73 and 87 these had taken gangaram so then the year uh, before that uh, gangaram was taken quite late like in about 90s last year nadiyad went uh, quite late like 96 116 138 and 160 but uh, if you see the year before that Nadia was taken at quite early ranks like uh, 30 36 50 so this is uh, the trend sometime someone will be uh, taking dnb they might not uh, considering the difference between dnb and mcs they do not care maybe so it might not be a difference making factor for them so you can either select dnb or mcs so in that case in our batch 2019 nadia went ahead of gangara now last year gangara went ahead of nadia so but more or less these are the top two institutes then comes max saket which was going at around rank of 140 to 160 max saket is in delhi then if you come to mumbai colleges then there was hinduja hospital followed by jaslok hospital there are some connectivity issues please proceed uh, zain followed by kokila ben hospital followed by uh, max saket delhi followed by uh, apollo delhi or artemis delhi so these were the colleges sir. this was the usual trend once in a while someone if he is from a local place uh, like someone is from tamil nadu he uh, like last year cmc velour went at rank 8 but uh, i would recommend uh, uh, people who are taking in groups you need to see the rank range in which that colleges are going so uh, if that certain rank range and then accordingly you will get an idea that uh, which colleges are in hot demand yeah i think uh, this has uh, this will be a definitely help the um, toppers because everyone were asking like uh, which one to take uh, kindly give a rank um, or like uh, top uh, mchc seats and top dnb seats and again the uh, many were asking which uh, uh, rank the last mchc seats were taken and up to which rank uh, um the dnb seats were taken this is uh, almost uh, for people want to prepare because time is very short whether to go ahead for the preparation or to uh, uh, wait for the counseling is their uh, thing in the mind uh, please if you know that point also please let me know my dear yes sir uh, see the now since this neat is a postponed neat and you batch was supposed to come uh, uh, in september only last year uh, so the next neat obviously is going to be uh, in after 6 months or 7 months and hopefully the covid situation is uh, improving so uh, last year the rank uh, which went last was 1088 that was uh, yanopaya medical college mangalore before that there were other multiple private colleges obviously as your rank increases the fees are also going to increase and even if though it is an mchc seat uh, it is shown uh, it, the fees will be quite hefty 50 lakhs or 1 crore depending on which college like manipal or shichan shanchandra whatever the institute is so uh, if you want to obviously if you do not want to uh, waste more time in studying you or you think that this was your best attempt you can't do anything more than this uh, you are already frustrated i would and you do not mind obviously paying that fees uh, you can well ahead uh, go and take those seats even if your rank is still 1000 or 1100 but suppose if your rank is average and then this was not your best attempt you feel that you could do bit better and obviously the fee structure is out of the roof Uh, i would recommend uh, giving the second neat which is just 6 months ahead yeah uh, true i think uh, uh, you have given a, a glimpse about the uh, seats which uh, rank which has gone for the uh, mch and dnb so it is it's all i always tell uh, when you are uh, when you feel like uh, the, you have got a uh, not a better rank you always should attend the counseling and you feel like a borderline you don't want to spend money you have to keep preparing that should go hand in hand so waiting for the counseling and then i will prepare then when the counseling does not clicks and finally um, uh, the, the less time to the preparation will add up for this first so have always a plan a plan a yeah counseling if it clicks i will take plan along with the plan a keep preparing if counseling does not clicks i uh, i am already yes, preparing sir. so there is no uh, mental fatigue or mental stress because you have you are not wasting because near the exam you know the stress at least if i get if the exam postponed by 5 days i will be happy like that everyone yes. minds it comes and goes so don't waste the time for uh, people who are uh, standing in the uh, borderline and uh, yes sir um, 
thank you thank you zain i remember this one thing which you had uh, told us during our preparation was exams are for self assessment so even during our preparation i remember i gave aims bgi jipmer obviously we did not get good enough ranks to crack those institutes but with each uh, exam our uh, rank went on improving our preparation went on improving we came to know our deficiencies what topics we are lacking on and then finally when that exam which was actually mattered we could hit that exam so exams are for your own self not for demotivating yourself <laughs> yeah true my dear and the one thing which i really see as a teacher i have always identify the person who are sitting in front of us even though 100 students or 200 students are sitting in front of us we will identify this fellow will get a seat because that's how that is some of god's blessing to me also i identified you um, before even you crack the neat ss you will get a good rank i used to tell when before even i could identify rank. myself yeah before even right, i could right. identify myself <laughs> yeah even you identify yourself i also identified you one thing which is very important and uh, how you keep yourself motivated that is the energy which is uh, coming out of you that is uh, help to identify person like uh, faculty like us also but because that is very important uh, sir, for uh, every honestly individual. honestly speaking when i had given my first neat uh, i had not given it with prop, uh, complete preparation i had just gone to assess the uh, nature of questions and the variety of questions which come so my rank was 1000 plus so i was just confident that next time when i prepare i will do better than this so that's so and uh, i was just honest with myself and uh, was working on simple things i did not i had not worked in urology before coming into mca urology and uh, whatever i was learning was fresh new knowledge and i was just sure that whatever i am learning is from a standard textbook like campbell because once you learn a wrong thing you cannot unlearn it so learn sequentially learn take small steps be better than what you were yesterday and then eventually you will reach your target true 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 my dear and uh, this um, the positive mindset and uh, uh, easy take attitude is one of the important thing which i always uh, stress for the aspirants whatever uh, they aspiring for so um, the another important question people are asking is uh, sir please guide us about the cutting chance uh, definitely this is a very important uh, one to learn what is your opinion i always tell sdpj yeah. the cutting chance is awesome yeah uh, please enlighten the people cutting chance versus non cutting chance and the academic versus uh, non academic etc yes. i have uh, made a certain comprehensive list on how i selected my college so my first priority was having a good teacher uh, second was uh, exposure to the various sub specialties of urology urology when we are reading we just know the mcqs but in practice it is very difficult to do everything like there are multiple sub specialties like endo urology onco urology pediatric urology female urology transplant reconstructive urology general urology and robotics you have to have enough exposure to all of these uh, specialties then eventually in life what you want to do what you want to focus on that you will understand only if you have had certain exposure to all of this you just cannot wake up one day and you think that robotic is fancy you will do it suppose you are living in a small town which doesn't have that much funds to fund a robot that much patient load then there is no in, uh, and you are going to settle over there maybe your dream might not be feasible in that small place or it might be an overkill for that place so that those ex- that exposure to all sub specialties during your mcs is very important third is stipend and bond that is also very important because eventually if you are not paid mo- uh, a good stipend or have a long bond that might lead to frustration uh spouse uh, where your spouse is staying uh, what kind of post graduation she is doing or whether she is a non medical but where she wants to settle whether she wants to settle in a place which is she is okay with settling away from her uh, family away from your family in a good city not in a uh, not in a first tier metro city that is also very important cutting and ot exposure academics and thesis publications so when you come to cutting and ot exposure see more or less by the time you pass out mch there are obviously certain four or five colleges at the top which will give you more patient load basically because of them being tertiary referral centers in metro cities that is one thing and also because of the faculty being good enough so that they allow their juniors to practice but suppose if you take a dnb institute and the faculty or where there are only vip patients over there maybe you might not get enough free cutting chance second thing is academics 
initially i use uh, academics are very important because if you do not change with the changing times you will be left behind so they will be uh, helpful to keep you acquainted with the latest ongoings and the, they'll keep you in the subject basically what is going on in today's world zoom and zoom meetings have more or less brought everything online and on youtube so usi smart is also going on so more or less all the classes and all the case discussions are on a uniform platform and, and are de- being done outside but in addition to this there are journal clubs there are case presentations in the in your department there are interdepartmental meets like euro radiology euro pathology euro nuclear meet and uh, all these things will enhance your knowledge of assessing a patient in a different way suppose for example with there is a patient with a renal calculus obviously everyone knows do a pcnl which patient is an atypical patient which patient will complicate further which patient is an atypical presentation which patient not to touch in your private setup in a small clinic without uh, help from multiple uh, uh, assistant like from a good anesthetist or an icu setup this all things you will learn when there are interdepartmental meets then uh, so basically uh, these are the things you need to consider thesis and publications are also important some institutes suppose require a uh, compulsory thesis for you before passing out some institutions like mine do not have a thesis uh, we have uh, we need a single poster presentation or a paper presentation before passing out which eventually by after completing some conferences you are already done with so that headache is not there that we have to sit separately and write a 300 page thesis so those things are also very important sir i feel Uh, hostel is very important where are you going to stay suppose your stipend for example mumbai your stipend is suppose 65 60000 you're not getting a hostel for you and your wife you have to stay in a rent rented place so your rent in mumbai is going to be about 35000 30000 half of your salary is gone in that you will have no savings you'll get up frustrated so that's also things you have to consider whether this is phase of your life where you need some savings or no so these are very important while deciding my uh, uh, college i decided upon obviously teachers i want i was very much specific upon learning once but learning correctly from the best teachers so that is why i went with the best teachers uh, exposure to sub specialty i wanted small small exposure to some of everything uh, uh, and uh, obviously stipend was better in north india and uh, even though uh, Uh, my state has uttar pradesh i am not from uttar pradesh i am from maharashtra but even though i have a bond of 2 years i was willing to do that instead of taking the bond year as year for some bondage or labor i am taking that 2 years as a golden period to fr- practice free hand in a government college so that uh, i have that independent decision making capacity till the time i come out in practice so don't view bond as something which is going to pull you down instead it is going to give you free hand so think that in that ways true exactly true that uh, uh, the last point i really love it uh, especially uh, where um, there are less number of uh, specialists like uh, almost in uh, most part of the uh, northern and the central part of the north east central or west part of the india where, where there are um, specialists are less and uh, automatically they are posted as, uh, after res- after residency um, they will be as a consultant posted in the college or senior resident re- senior yes, resident posted in the college uh, assistant professors yes sir yeah yeah sir or ap uh, but in a places like uh, tamil nadu i really i don't uh, like this bond uh, bond kind of thing is see there is a no vacancy for mch uh, um, resi- mch uh, uh, fresher to give a job in a college to practice yes sir there is no need to no need for a bond per se in tamil nadu yes, I, i i every time i tell my uh, senior we cannot do anything senior, about it yes, yes yes after mch who is going to do, uh, sit at the dms that is a government hospital or primary health center what is the need for a, a specialist after a, a lot of uh, stress and uh, strain so i i really acknowledge the way so as uh, people who are listening where the bond is where you get a place in the college itself no need to worry about a bond you are learning skill is going to be still more sharpened and uh, i think you elaborated very well zain uh, wonderful i think uh, the people will uh, whoever is listening will be it will be very helpful and uh, um you, the one thing which is uh, um, uh, i really uh, tell about the uh, aspirants especially the neat ss 2022 again is going to become a uh, common exam like before 2018 and um, urology is a wonderful field i think uh, uh, i uh, always utter this in my class i always passionate about that because when compared to the any other any other end specialty uh, any other super specialty urology is a end specialty 
and by the uh, as a uh, field and it has a multiple sub specialty as a end specialty and uh, i want to hear from you um, zain because uh, you are a, today a guest and uh, i want to listen from you also i will add something if uh, you miss anything please go ahead yes sir uh, see when i wanted when i was searching for these colleges i was uh, uh, interested in andrology i found it very fascinating so i was inquiring at every place is andrology practiced uh, at your college is andrology being done over here or there but eventually after asking a lot of places i realized that andrology as a mcs trainee it will be very rare for you to see it and hardly nothing there will be no exposure to andrology same with uh, female urology or uh, uh, this uh, these two topics May, uh, similarly robotics uh, are not there at uh, uh, many uh, government centers uh, that is one uh, uh, drawback which some centers might not have because robotics is the thing of the future robotics is going to come in a big way so uh, what i was counseled by my seniors was taking that first you become a good urologist after becoming a urologist after 3 years of adequate exposure to each sub specialty then you can sub specialize by doing a fellowship or a rigorous observership or going abroad and training in that specific uh, sub specialty and then whatever you want to practice you can keep pra practicing for the rest of your life uh, so i would also uh, suggest the same thing make sure that you are exposed enough to every sub specialty for example at my center at gpj i have good exposure to endo urology onco pediatric pediatric Uh, surgery is one of the best transplant centers in huge volume reconstruction and robotics so other than female urology or andrology i it is uh, very rare that i'm not exposed to some other things so more or less my mind is being made up over 3 years eventually in the future in which direction i would want to go to so if you are not exposed to these things make sure that you do not select a center which has only one type of work make sure your bosses whichever the four or five faculties are there in your college are having a variety of uh, uh, skills in their uh, uh, bag so that you pick whatever skill you like yeah true absolutely true yes, and i add something um, in addition to this as you said like andrology and female urology yes uh, in a curriculum even though uh, um, urology is a uh, genito urinary surgery and uh, um, andrology is a part of the urology the whoever is practicing uh, are not uh, andrology are not urologist so it is a wonderful field yes. and it is a field which uh, you which will make anybody uh, economically strong and strong like uh, stronger and stronger i can say rather than urology it is a, a easy field to practice also and uh, um, for uh, so the fellowship in andrology so i always tell when you do a mch have some uh, uh, idea or vision when you do a urology so as you said like learn the basics of the urology endo urology or whatever available in that given area and you have the vision because the future is going to be a sub specialty based and there are lot of lot of quality work which can be done and when i see i am now exploring pediatric urology at chennai because no pediatric urologists are there in chennai and that that uh, that is a field where we can really do a wonderful job and we yes, can sir. save lot of a child with the structural anomalies uh, uh, failing to go into the ckd or if even if they go to the ckd we can prolong prolonging the age to go into the ckd or uh, we can save with a transplant in future rather than doing a transplant at 6 years 10 year or 15 year if we do a transplant those kids we can save especially in the post urethral bowel and other conditions and another point i really want to uh, share here is in a female urology if you have if you want to learn female urology please identify a, um, because not uh, um, many places female urology practice is being done if you want really spend time in learning acquiring skills in uh, through lot of uh, um, online education and more important you can you can take the cadaver and you can learn the um, pelvic pelvis uh, pelvis anatomy and the female female pelvic anatomy female uh, the relationship of ureter ure and the cervix all those kind if there's a prolapse happens how to manage if there's a, a stress urinary incontinence how to put a tape all those things we can learn in the cadaver that reduces a definitely a, a learning curve when you want to become a real specialist with when you, when you have a opportunity to operate also you elaborated very nicely uh, my dear friend and um, what else you want to share uh, zain sir so one more thing yeah. is uh, after coming to mch uh, everyone has done a ms and come everyone has done lectureships or srships and come they are used to giving or we are all used to giving orders to our juniors now we are becoming first years again so it becomes very difficult initially to take orders even we realize that sometimes okay maybe our senior is might not be taking the best decision 
we might tell him in a humble way or in a kind way that maybe sir i think that i think this might help the patient better or but taking orders working day in day out 24 hours is going to be hectic it is going to be your first year pg residency all over again it is not going to be a cruise ship you will have to toil you will have to sweat you will have to be in the ward every day is going to be very difficult physically as well as mentally so make sure you select a place in which you are going to remain happy it is even though everyone says urology is a very easy field is a very elective field that all is true but that is after your residency is over not during your residency so when you are in your coming to your residency you have to roll up your sleeves and be ready for hard work and be happy wherever you go that is very important yeah true true the first year is also <laughs> agency work whether you join mca urology in uh, aims or mca urology wherever MCG, yes sir. wherever the first year is uh, also agency work so that one tsunami is... one tsunami of workload hits you and then you are like how did i light up with this yes <laughs> yeah true true so maintain uh, good health and uh, have a good uh, but uh, don't miss your uh, meal even if you miss your meal have some snacks so uh, seniors will tell you oh you want to go for a meal by 1 pm itself lunch by 1:30 2 pm itself we used to take by 6 pm those cups will come so don't uh, ask for uh, excuse have some something to eat uh, some small snacks some nuts so that it, you will feel you will have your uh, uh, diet taken and you will feel healthy also so the uh, controversies with your seniors also won't come and uh, um yes, the last and uh, the last and most important is urology is a wonderful field i really love it i i i never uh, wanted to become a urologist but after joining a urology urology after uh, finishing mch i know that this is a real in, in specialty without much uh, stress without much overlap by the general surgeon or any other super specialty and uh, there are still more lot of areas where the urology uh, the still we can identify and we can uh, rock and one important field in that is uh, for erectile dis- dysfunction penile implant still uh, you can't find a person good person to be identified in india yeah this fellow is a good to do a penile implant this all futures okay the age life is being prolonged and people uh, the sexual um, uh, sexual life is also important part of the life and uh, people landing up with the ed because of the diabetes and all other neuropathy are all increasing so this is a one spe- uh, sub specialty that is a uh, and in andrology where as a surgeon that is a um, penile implant also can be learned this all will take one month or two months to acquire knowledge because the skill of training alone so have your have your vision have your decide your path and do some paper work do some publication attend conference ex- explore things uh, because nobody will uh, teach you nobody will spoon feed you it's all what your inner happiness inner instinct to move forward will always will help rather than people uh, like a uh, guiding yeah go this way go that way but i am very happy zain you have you have enlightened lots and lots so um, definitely this whoever is listening uh, will be helpful for them we'll go with some of the uh, chats which has been come uh, madhur ahmed madhur anand i think you were friend i think he said yeah. like hi zain <laughs> yeah he is my batchmate sir uh, okay. he uh, he uh, he actually he had uh, 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 taken uh, vmm uh, vmc delhi sardar jang delhi uh, he was having a single digit rank in my batch uh, he was in the top 10 so he had taken delhi but uh, obviously after working he worked there for one month and before the second counseling he switched to sgpgi uh, after seeing some work culture or whatever protocol based management or uh, whatever he found was uh, not to his liking so there are certain things you you have the option of switching to another institute till the second round or the third round if you have not filled the retention uh, certificates and uh, his spouse also was working at our college so that was also a added uh, bonus for him also so that is also very important where uh, your spouse is also working it gives you comfort basically when you're going home frustrated from the ward at night you need peace of mind so if uh, and at night uh, there will no there will be no one to talk to everyone will be sleeping because you'll be reaching home at 11 o'clock 1 o'clock at night it is very important to have peace of mind so i would recommend you select a branch and a college which is giving you a uh, uh, good piece of mind another thing i will also <laughs> uh, 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 one thing i would like to tell from my experiences uh, since we are working in the ward all day and our institute is uh, 
uh, having uh, uh, like uh, the, uh, the uh, almost 24 hours of work in for residents so there are hardly any opportunities for uh, going out and uh, having parties and all those things so uh, we end up with uh, there is very less uh, cost of uh, living over here uh, so because my hostel is provided for there are we don't have time to basically no more than we don't have time to go and spend uh, money so ending up with lots of savings over three years so that is also a good point one side note i am just adding uh, Yeah. that's good but dedicating yes, the 3 years in mch is uh, which we are going to practice lifelong and spending all our energy but i always tell take care of your mental and physical health because physical health the exercise when we do exercise the mental health are automatically taken care so nothing wrong we can definitely spend those 3 years dedicate dedicating ourselves yes uh, um, uh, added advantage uh, always spend uh, uh, that is many people during their mch when uh, spouse will be at one place and uh, Uh, we will be doing a residency at another place definitely that all should not be there if whatever possible way try not to uh, be separated in a different location because as a uh, person uh, security for, for the as a, for a spouse as well as uh, uh, another important thing is ventil- we will be ventilating when we are very stressed out to the spouse so that all will help yes. so rightly pointed out uh, well taken uh, zain and uh, dr anuj yadav surgeon i could not understand why people taking dnb or mch at a double digit rank i think you have uh, uh, you yes. like anything else see uh, there are there are very good uro, uro surgeons in our country who have done dnb and uh, who are practicing in dnb institutes as uh, course directors and they are doing very quality of uh, work in the as level two skills are performed or innovation is perform uh, uh, is uh, necessary so if suppose for example in my batch uh, my colleague dr aditya parik Uh, he had a good rank of 36 he could have gotten mch at almost any place which he would wanted but uh, he wanted to do a private practice his parents were his uh, was a urologist he wanted to go in that setup he did not mind taking uh, dnb uh, urology at his rank which was closer to his home which were so these factors like being close to his home uh, eventually going to end up in a private urology practice which was already set up these factors changed their decision so i am again telling you do not go by uh, pe- the previous merit list and see if what a single person has taken dr aditya parik took th- that decision because that was best to suited for dr aditya parik maybe it might not be suiting for you yeah, so yeah, yeah. go and no. see yeah. yeah go and see a, a bulk a certain set of st- uh, students what the trend is obviously nadia is a good institute gangaram is a good institute these institutes have brand value also so that also matters so for example you can counter that instead of doing mch from a very peripheral college suppose in bihar or jharkhand which no one has, no one has heard of if you are doing dnb from a very reputed institute like gangaram or nadia or max saker delhi so that will count in much more hold if you are going to work in a metro or bigger city later on 100% so DN- well B- yes dnb versus mch is just a degree basically how much work you are going to get that is going to matter and what who is going to train you that is going to matter exactly the knowledge the knowledge the skill uh, more important the faculty uh, whom we yes, being uh, trained all those things very important well said my dear um, uh, it's a time to honor dr kp uh, kandar parik um, uh, yes, father sir. of dr uh, aditya parik aditya. yeah one of the best uh, faculty for rirs i am very happy he sent all the way uh, his son to concept and he achieved the top score again and uh, i i think uh, yes, anuj again government mcc till what rank uh, i think uh, that uh, list is yeah. that with you so the list yeah so the list is available uh, on nb uh, the side of mcc and nb uh, you can go through it uh, the ranks are till 1088 or t- typically mch urology at what at a good seat maybe about till 90 120 maybe it should close off because whatever i'm seeing on this i also had inquired that much only during my admissions also so i can see sms jaipur going till rank 100 rank 110 also so these are good colleges uh, even kolkata is going above to 150 these are all uh, guwahati medical college where uh, tp rajiv sir is there that is going up to 154 rank so these are all good cal- uh, colleges so uh, you have to go through the list inquire who the faculty is how what kind of work is it is over there and if you have time go and visit those colleges i did that before taking my seat i visited two or three colleges saw the departments for myself and then i took a informed decision so that you don't have anyone to blame oh i took it before looking at the previous list or anything go to those colleges visit those colleges if possible and then take a decision yeah true 
and dr sayed uh, taharat husain has asked mid rank between 400 to 500 should proceed with the last dnb or private college or continue studying so if doctor uh, uh, doctor if this was your best attempt if you feel that you are exhausted at uh, this attempt and you do not have that mental strength to hit another thing or maybe because of certain circumstances you cannot give the second attempt i will recommend you to take whichever is best at your uh, rank but uh, if you have it uh, that you can give it one more try or six months of preparation is still there within you i will just uh, advise you to give the next need yeah. i would have done the same if i was in your place good good my dear good answer since pattern is changing why, why what do you recommend dr zain mid rankers like uh, myself again the same sayed zain pattern is changing for everyone dear not only for you <laughs> For this, I will add, uh, Syed, uh, see, if you get a um, DNB in a place uh, where there are good uh, cutting chance, always have plan A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So, 10 top uh, for your given rank with analyzing the previous uh, uh, previous uh, um, allotment list. And based upon that, if you, if you, uh, if, the, if the seed satisfies you, nothing wrong in taking that, okay? Because where you feel like uh, after some calculation, you feel, yeah, I can take the DNB here. Or rather than a private MCH, or are there are certain places where, like a Savita Medical College in Chennai, my colleagues are there where they get a very good cutting chance in the first year do uh, TRP. But they, it is not like uh, you can't get a robotic all those things. But people are doing uh, left and right lab, robo lab um, uh, uh, RARS, TRP, all endo urology and open surgeries. You can take uh, MCH uh, at Savita Medical College. So these all the place, uh, uh, these all you have to decide uh, based upon the. Um, uh, rank list and how how much you get and i think some uh, uh, issues in uh, internet issues for uh, uh, zain tamboli yeah i i think i answered the question again my dear and uh, the next one is please tell the dnb hospital um, priority yes. uh, yeah this uh, there is a uh, net uh, uh, breakage was there uh, zain please yes, let sir. sequence of dnb hospital priority wise again because uh, during when you yes, answered sir. that yeah there was okay, uh, sir. so 2019 2019, Nadia was, uh, was taken, uh, three, four people had taken Nadia and after that Gangaram Delhi was taken and after that uh, uh, Max Saket Delhi and then Apollo Delhi was taken. Yeah, in people who had preferred uh, Mumbai, they had taken Jaslok Mumbai and then Lilavati Mumbai. But previous year, Gangaram Delhi went over Nadia Delhi, uh, Nadia. So that way is you have to select because Nadia is not a metro city. It is somewhere in one corner. So if you require uh, airport access, if you require uh, travel to and fro, good uh, city life, that kind of life. So you go with Delhi. If you are just uh, wanting, you are okay with uh, being in Nadia, you can go with Nadia. Both are I, really love, I really love Nadia place. We had a training for two weeks there. And the place where people who are busy already with the metro city want to live a peaceful life and want to uh, learn things also. Nadia is one of the good place, one of the very silent place I really love. And um, uh, Dr. Bhat Yunis has asked, is it wise to take DNB in Delhi over MCH other places? Yes, it is wise. You get exposure to various good faculties like Dr. Anand Kumar sir, Dr. Gagan Gautam sir. The various good faculties in Delhi also who are uh, like prodigies in their field. They are doing very good work. These all, uh, most of these sirs were in government institutes. Now they have retired and they have gone to private and whatever uh, they are teaching is the standard of care in government institutes also. It is not that they are teaching something which are shortcuts or which is not the standard of care. So the quality of teaching will not suffer. That is definitely there. Uh, so if you are more comfortable with Delhi rather than going to a, a, a peripheral place, I would just recommend you to take DNB Delhi. So, Dr. Vinayak uh, Shalat as well, what is the difference between observership and fellowship? Dear, observership is they will not allow you to touch the scalpel. You have to just watch. Fellowship might be a single year fellowship or a two year fellowship. Let us talk about Indian scenarios. Like in our uh, SGPGI, we have a pediatric urology of transplant fellowship, an onco fellowship. So, here you get uh, surgical chances in that one year of uh, period also. It is not that it has uh, six months of observership and six months of fellowship. So, every fellowship is different. Uh, you, when you go abroad, may, uh, the AUA fellowships are of two years. One is clinical research and one is actual clinical work. So, it depends. Every institute, you will have to ask the course director what kind of fellowships they are offering. Yeah, thank you. Akash Rathod has asked, rank 290 private MCH or DNB planning to practice district place? 
डॉक्टर आकाश इवन आई एम फ्रॉम अ वेरी स्मॉल प्लेस अ वेरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट प्लेस लाइक तालुका प्लेस यू कैन कॉल मी बट आई टेक गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल डॉक्टर संजय कुलकर्णी हु इज गोइंग टू बी द नेक्स्ट यूएस आई हेड uh his uh, vision was he wanted the world to come to pune he pra- practices reconstructive urology and now he has a auf fellowship under him so it doesn't matter whether you're going to practice in a district place or in mc you are going to practice till your 70 years of age or 80 years of age till your hands shiver till you re- decide to retire so uh, i do not think so uh, don't think in that rigid way that you're going to come in a small place that entire 4 7 8 10 districts around you will come to you if you are practicing urology in a quality way if you are not practicing in a quality way no one will come that is it it's a 100% true my dear i, I take it uh, uh, totally vikas kumar has asked 250 rank which hospital to choose for dnb um dear i'll you'll have to look at the uh, seat matrix it is already there on the website uh, please go to that website uh, 2020 and 2019 and just uh, have a look at those uh, seat matrices and then you can just see the trend in which people are picking up you can talk to one or two residences i will uh, uh, advise you to talk to uh, senior residents like third years more than first years because third years give a different perspective of the kind of work which is going on first years have a different kind of perspective to the kind of work which is going on maybe they have lesser ot exposure and more of uh, ward work so they the kind of uh, review they will give is more from a comfort point of view and the kind of third years the review they will give is more from a practical point of view which they have already seen over 2 to 3 years which they have already got work true true so i will recommend you to ask your third years dr sharma is asking what would be the preference among bj ahmedabad kgmc rml lucknow bhu ijms patna okay uh, dr somdeep uh, ji uh, see uh, see first is the bond thing Ahmedabad has a 50 lakhs bond and UP has a, a 1 CR bond so that is one difference and after bit, between that also between RML Lucknow and KGMC last year RML Lucknow has got and got at higher ranks it has gone at uh, rank 22 and 31 while uh, KGMC has gone at rank 60 uh, so and uh, BHU at my uh, times had also gone to, at rank 69 80 and all so these are all good institutes lucknow has an airport varanasi also has a airport connectivity of lucknow is better these all things matter more or less uh, these institutes are more or less the same it is not going to make a world of difference to you you will have to see the uh, hostel facilities what kind of lifestyle is there and then you will have to take a decision these are all small small fine tunings it eventually at the end of 5 years or 3 years you will uh, be more or less equal it doesn't matter so much true true my dear you have to select between whether you want to go to gujarat whether you are from gujarat whether you are from uh, west east india from which part of india you are whether you are okay with it with the type of food which is going to be there suppose someone doesn't like rice someone doesn't uh, don't doesn't want to like uh, learn any new language might have some hindrance while going to cmc vellore it's similar like that yeah true dr ankit is asking 270 rank he has taken uh, should i repeat or take dnb first attempt see if it was me i would have repeated but uh, ankit i will te- i tell you ankit the pattern is changing the government uh, the, they are uh, going in a very direction see uh, overall you decide um, if you want to go with the dnb nothing wrong in that i yes, always definitely. tell i have a plan a plan b plan c plan a if you want to take a dnb things are good after your selection if uh, it doesn't work Uh, you are you have changed your mind you are you want to give a best in the upcoming exam but a lot of uh, uh, change in pattern even we are not able to tell what kind of questions they will be asking i would rather tell to take a dnb but it's all de- you have to take a overall decision because uh, uh, zain has given lot and lot uh, no need to take with a single point from uh, my words or a zain words you sit and decide discuss with your spouse and uh, basically you have to be honest with yourself whether this rank which you got was with your complete preparation or was it just a you overachieved at this rank just by fluking or no so basically if you feel that uh, you have uh, ach- uh, underachieved maybe you could have prepared better and got a better result and uh, if, the, if the pattern changes it will not affect your rank then you can go for it if you feel that no if the pattern changes and you have not your preparation or is not in that way till how if the pattern change then you will suffer then you can go with the dnb that is true. a decision which you yourself will have to take true my dear km mumbai dr shiva is asking km mumbai nayar sion bjmc ahmedabad preference order see i would have gone with nayar km sion and bjmc 
okay. nayar km cyan and vgmc i would have gone with that okay nice nice my dear and uh, robotics at km dr shiva has uh, asked i do not think so there is a robot at km as of now i am not sure i am not doing my pg in km right now i did my ms mbbs from there but i am not sure of uh, robotics in km as of now okay my rank is one from uh, for robotics also dear for robotics you will only get to assist you know one is going to get you to get uh, tell, uh, giving you to operate on mcs level you just have to put in a port and you'll have to insert instruments and uh, basically some you have to assist so even if you get to see that that is also a good thing so do not first you have to become an overall urologist do not focus on uh, small small things ki robotics is not there andrology is not there even i was used to think of all these things before but first you see ki uh, exposure to everything is there or not some uh, you have traveling fellowship domestic traveling fellowship from usi you have observerships like max saket has a tie up with sgpj lucknow where uh, for one month the residents are coming for exposure to pediatric urology so they have do, they do not have uh, pediatric urology in max saket but they are coming to our institute for one month getting exposure and going and if they have interest they can pursue it after their mch so basically exposure to every sub specialty is important so you'll oh, have to uh, uh, for such things to right the wonderful words uh, pe- people who have want to learn pediatric urology um, sgpg is one of the best uh, place to l- be observership as uh, rightly said rather than a fellowship if you want to learn you have a lot of cases you want you want to observe and you have a basic skill in pediatric urology you can learn new points from uh, sgpg uh, wonderful word- words and the dr pravina is asking 175 rank which college to choose <laughs> i think it is all already being answered <laughs> you um uh, re, re uh, listen this uh, um, audio and uh, you decide what you want there is no no difference between mch or dnb wonderful yes. discussion zain i really love the way thank you, you thank you for the opportunity sir <laughs> thank you for the opportunity <laughs> i i never Whenever I I talk to you, there is some fire which is ignited and then uh, i have to do something <laughs> Uh, always always uh, you are i really love my students somehow uh, i i am just thinking when you are uh, uh, when you are giving such a awesome uh, words i am just thinking uh, yeah i am doing this work with the passion and i am ro- doing a wonderful surgical work also private as well as government but are we uh, because dr anand uh, from maxwell all are uh, wonderful teachers and wonderful surgeons are we um, spending enough time for this teaching or we have to go for a, a complete surgical uh, kind of thing my mind is running because robo is still uh, um, bending from my side i have not uh, learned robo i'm uh, good in uh, transplant good in uh, endo urology this all uh, i am being also motivated uh, um, zain wonderful i really love the way you acknowledged and i have never expected you have got so much content to share with the students and whoever is listening i am truthfully i am telling they are really benefited uh, uh, zain and uh, dr bath has uh, said uh, thank you thank and uh, chaurashi has said mch at the private yeah i already explained that please re listen to this mch at private dr shashti see for example i uh, have a colleague uh, senior who has done from kms manipal uh, he has come from there and arun chawla sir is there at manipal uh, the quality of work was very good they are good faculties so it doesn't matter whether it is at private or dnb who is your teacher who is your going, going to teach you for 3 years that matters a lot so you have to inquire about the faculty what kind of work they are doing whether the new lecturers or assistant professors are dynamic aggressive or not so that all matters that that all plays a role how much cutting you will get and you will not get dr yunis has asked asked last question 69 mch kashmir or dnb saket delhi merits and demerits <laughs> uh, dr bhat yunis uh, you can talk to dr uh, pawan he is also an ex uh, conception uh, he is from delhi he is in max saket that uh, present uh, anton sir will give you his number if needed later on uh, <laughs> yeah saket number just completed i think his number is there with me and um, a lot of uh, thanks uh, thanking message anuj uh, gupta and uh, chaurashya many thank thanking message i think after listening to this uh, still more people will be enjoying and uh, re listen to this uh, um, audio again and again because it has ter- tremendous input uh, uh, which we have discussed uh, my dear and future is a end specialty uh, that is sub specialty future is a sub specialty and people who have got a research also uh, dr swarup from hyderabad is ex conceptian he also wanted to share because he is busy with the theater please uh, request uh, aspirants to think about the research because research also people are yearning 
and people are learning and people are giving uh, uh, content to the future because research is the future. Uh, people who have interest in the research, there are a lot of uh, uh, companies want to invest for the people who are doing a research after uh, um, MCH. So um, please think about that also, my dear uh, uh, friends. Uh, research is also a equally good one after MCH. Okay. Um, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So many things. And anything else you want to share, Zain? With that, uh, we'll end. Uh, I'll just one final take home message is you have all worked hard to achieve good ranks. 200, 300, these are all very good ranks. You are the cream of this and, and after MS, the cream has come to urology. So wherever you're taking, be happy and proud of it. 10 years down the line, more or less, everyone is going to be in the same playing field. Just be happy in whatever you're going to do. Awesome, my dear. What a wonderful word. First rank or 200 rank is immaterial. At the end of uh, 5 to 10 years, everyone will be in, uh, sailing in the same boat. All the best, dear achievers. All the best for the upcoming achievers. And whoever has a chance to take a seat, I rather tell rather than giving another attempt, please take DNB also because DNB is no way inferior to the MCH. But all should be your decision, not Zain or Anton decision. Okay. This is Dr. Anthony Reshkumar, founder, president, concept. Jain. Bye. Bye.